Got another question on the aromatic chemistry topic. So as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you wanted to have a go first. So the mechanism, so we've got our reactants there on the screen. So we'll need to take a pair of electrons from the pi electron cloud, take it to the electrophile. So that's going to generate this intermediate here. Just remember we're forming the four nitro isomer. So the substitution is going to take place here. So we show the hydrogen and then basically we need to lose a pair of electrons from this bond. It's going to go back into the reform the pi electron cloud. And that's going to give the product, and don't forget about that H plus ion. The two missing isomers were the 2,5 isomer and the 3,4 isomer. Obviously, they can be either way around, but they were the answers. And then moving on to the production of this um, polymer. As you can see, I've copied and pasted isomer 3. Hopefully, you appreciate that isomer 3 is the one you'd need to use because of the relative positions of the uh, nitrogens in the polymer. So we're obviously going to need to turn this into a diamine first of all. How do you do that? You react the dinitro um, benzene compound with a mixture of tin and concentrated hydrochloric acid. So there's that all written up for stage one. So just a reminder that for every nitro group that's reduced we need six moles of reducing agent. Reducing agent is obviously that mixture of tin and conch HCl. So obviously we've got two nitro groups to reduce, so we're going to need 12 moles of reducing agent. Each reduction generates two moles of water, so obviously we're going to get four. Going back to the structure of the polymer to get the um, second stage sorted. So an organic compound that could react with the um, diamine of isomer 3 is going to be, it's going to need to have this feature. Well, this just needs to be a dicarboxylic acid. So if you have a COH group here and here, that would generate that polymer. So we're talking about this dicarboxylic acid here, which is called propane dioic acid. And again, going back to the structure of the polymer for the very last question, the functional group we've got here is an amide. So this is an example of a polyamide. 